Our mothers taught us the healing arts. What they taught us has allowed us to help our families and friends. Remember to use this wisdom wisely. And share it joyfully. Winter's colder days and longer nights are causing illness among our neighbors. Living far from a doctor, these remedies taught by our mothers provide relief here in the Ohio Valley. This elderberry elixir helps soothe these winter afflictions. You will need one cup dried elderberries, whiskey or brandy, and honey. Making a funnel from paper, pour the elderberries into the bottle. An elixir is generally considered to be a mixture of herbs, sweetener, and alcohol, or water used as a tonic. A tonic gives a feeling of well-being. Elderberries have been used in Europe and America for hundreds of years. They have a tart flavor, a bit like black raspberries. Honey is added for sweetness. Let the honey saturate the berries thoroughly and cover them about a quarter inch or more. And now for the final ingredient. Mrs. Weaver, you didn't steal the Colonel's brandy again, did you? Absolutely not. It says whiskey. <laughs> Pour in the whiskey or brandy. Fill the bottle about three quarters full. You want to leave room to shake the mixture. Sometimes elderberry syrup is made without the alcohol. Waste not, want not. Shaking blends the elderberries, honey, and alcohol together. Mrs. Weaver, I think you may have something there. We will in two or three weeks. <laughs> Store the mixture in a cool, dark place and shake once a day. This allows the alcohol to take on the properties and flavor of the elderberries and honey. Strain the berries out of the mixture when you decant it. This is an important step. Elderberry elixir is sometimes taken as a preventative tonic by the tablespoon. That's so much better than the Colonel's whiskey and much more beneficial 